Hi, this is Ian. I was inspired to try this experiment by a video from John at High Voltage Projects. So thanks for the idea, John. So I've bought a cheap Xenon party strobe that looks like this. And a car ignition coil that looks like this. The ignition coil is actually two double-ended ignition coils in one block. Uh, and it actually provides isolation between the primary and secondary windings, which is a very important feature of this design, as you'll see in a moment. I'm going to use the strobe unit to fire both coils together, providing a large positive output from one coil and a large negative output from the other coil. I'm hoping to get about 50 kV from each coil and therefore about 100 kV in total from the device. Here is the circuit of uh, what you get in the box when you buy the party strobe unit. Uh, basically it takes 230 volts from the line, uh, it puts that straight into a voltage doubler and you end up with about 630 volts on a capacitor. There's also a trigger generator which triggers a xenon flash tube and in this case we're going to use the flash tube as a switch to provide us uh, a pulse of about 600 volts by cutting the PCB track and then taking a wire out from each side. So here is the overall circuit. Uh, I need to read out the heading here which is important. You should exercise extreme caution with this circuit as it includes AC mains, high voltage 630 volts, uh, pulsed high voltage 630 volts which can remain after the mains is removed and also extra high tension pulses exceeding 50,000 volts. So do not attempt to build this circuit unless you are fully familiar with the risks. So as you can see I've cut the track uh, in the party strobe unit and instead I've connected the output to the two ignition coils in parallel. So there's one primary, there's the other primary. Uh, the dots indicate the phasing of the transformers as the dots usually signify and so therefore um, I'm hoping to see about 50,000 volts on this terminal positive and about negative 50,000 volts on this terminal and this means I should see uh, about 100,000 volts between the two terminals. So here is the completed unit. The party strobe flash is screwed to a wooden baseboard. The optical flash is blocked by some pieces of cardboard and a sponge because they're quite bright. And here is the dual ignition coil and you can see the, the uh, centre tapped ground wire in the, in the middle and then each side uh, there's a, a wire coming up to uh, my high voltage electrodes. And then I'll just stop on the uh, a needle gap. Um, the needle point gap is about 150 millimeters and I'll now power up the unit. So there it is. Um, I, it's rather hard to estimate the output voltage from a needle gap, uh, but I'm pretty certain we're around the 100 kV mark for reasons that I'll tell you in the next video.